Hello, welcome to Inside Tutorial and I am Dipen Dikshit. In this lab, we will transfer and seize FSMO role between the domain controller and the additional domain controller. So we will see that how the different MS FSMO roles are transferred as well as seized between the domain controller and additional domain controller. So you can see here that we have our domain controller and the name of the domain controller is win36d and uh, the domain name is microsoft.com moreover you can see this uh, when you open the command prompt and here you will type net account then you can see the roles that this computer is having okay so this is your domain controller now when you will jump to this additional domain controller then you can see the server.microsoft.com moreover if you want to verify that whether this computer is additional domain controller or not then go to the run command type cmd and here we will type net account command when you will run it then here you will see that the role of this computer is backup means this server is acting as a additional domain controller so in this way you will verify that which of the server is acting as a main domain controller and which of the server is acting as an additional domain controller moreover uh, we will see here that what are the rules that is present by default on the domain controller so for see for seeing the default ms fsmo role that is configured on the domain controller you will type run then you will type cmd and then you will type net dumb f query fsmo after typing this command when you will press enter then here what you are seeing is that all the five roles exist on this domain controller so this is the name of this domain controller you can further verify it from here okay now we will see that what are the roles that are present on the additional domain controller by default so here also you will go into the cmd mode and you will type netdom query fsmo to find the default fsmo role existing on the additional domain controller so you can see here that no roles exist on this additional domain controller because whatever the fqdn name here you are seeing this is the fqdn name of the domain controller but not the additional domain controller you can see the computer name of this additional domain controller that is server.microsoft.com but not this win36dj okay so we have seen that uh, which server is acting as the additional domain controller or domain controller further we have also seen that how to identify that what are the fsmo role that is means that exist on the server now what we, we will do we will transfer all the roles means all the five roles from domain controller to the additional domain controller so see how we will transfer the roles from domain controller to the additional domain controller one by one space scs double mm gmt dot dll and press ok so your schema dot dll has been stored now you will type mmc click add remove snap in click active directory schema actually by default this active directory schema is not seen inside this add remove snap in if you want to see this active directory schema inside your add remove snap in then you have to install this active directory schema role by typing this run and this reg svr32 if you have not executed this command then you would not be able to see this active directory schema inside this add remove snap in so this is the importance of this command now add this schema ok now expand it so 
सो यू कैन सी हेयर दैट एट प्रजेंट मोमेंट दिस स्कीमा रोल इज डिफाइंड ऑन दिस डोमेन कंट्रोलर नाउ यू कैन ऑल्सो सी दैट देर आर डिफरेंट सब फोल्डर्स दैट इज क्लासेस एंड एट्रीब्यूट सो एट द प्रजेंट मोमेंट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू मॉडिफाई दिस स्कीमा रोल we are only going to transfer this schema to our additional domain controller so just right click on it then click change active directory domain controller name of our additional domain controller that is online and uh, it is having the gc means it is also a global catalog server so this is the name of our additional domain controller and this is the name of our domain controller so click okay click ओके सो यू हैव नाउ चेंज द डोमेन कंट्रोलर नाउ यू वी विल गो टू ऑपरेशन मास्टर एंड हियर वॉट यू विल डू यू विल जस्ट क्लिक चेंज यस सो योर एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी स्कीमा रोल हैज बिन सक्सेसफुली ट्रांसफर्ड टू योर एडिशनल डोमेन कंट्रोलर so how you will verify it so we will again uh, first save this mmc console anywhere then uh, we will go to our additional domain controller and here you will again type netdom query fsmo so you can see that that this schema master role has been transfer to this server.microsoft.com that is the name of additional domain controller likewise now we will transfer this domain naming master role from this domain controller to the additional domain controller so we will again switch back to our domain controller so for uh, transferring the domain naming master role you have to open this active directory domain and trust snap in change active directory domain controller and here you will choose the fqdn name of your additional domain controller click okay now you will click operation master role and then you will click change click yes so your domain naming master role has also been successfully transferred to the additional domain controller how you will verify it again we will switch to additional domain controller you can see this and you will again execute this netdom query command so you can see here that uh, the schema master role and domain naming master role has been transferred to the additional domain controller because this server.microsoft.com is additional domain controller now we will transfer the pdc role rid role and infrastructure master role from domain controller to the additional domain controller so we will again switch back to the domain controller and uh, you will open administrative tool active directory users and computers here you will click change domain controller then you will click the fqdn name of the additional domain controller then you will again right click operation master then at at, at the present moment the rid role is present on this domain controller whose fqdn name is this now we want to transfer this rid role to this server.microsoft.com that is additional domain controller so just click change yes okay if you want to transfer pdc then again you will click change yes okay if you want to transfer infrastructure from domain controller to additional domain controller then you will click change yes okay so now all the roles of the domain controller has been transferred to the additional domain controller so again we will verify that whether the roles has been transferred on the additional domain controller or not so here you will execute this command so you can see that all the roles that was existing on the domain controller has been transferred to the additional domain controller okay so now your additional domain controller is not additional it has transformed into a domain controller itself so you can see this you can verify this you will execute this net account 
now you can see that this additional domain controller means the role of this additional domain controller has been changed to primary now when we switch back to domain controller when you will execute here the net account command then you will see that the computer role of this domain controller has changed to the backup now this domain controller is acting as a additional domain controller because all the five roles has been transferred to the additional domain controller so in this way you will transfer all the roles with the help of GUI mode now we will learn that how to seize the rules that is present on this additional domain controller so just I am shutting down this additional domain controller so now you can see that uh, this is a domain controller and we have shut down the additional domain controller that was having all the roles so first we will verify that what are the roles that this domain controller is containing so you will execute this netdump query fsmo so see here this fqdn name is not the name of this domain controller actually this fqdn name is the name of our additional domain controller that is at present offline okay so now we will seize all the roles from this additional domain controller so see how we seize the roles now we will seize all the role that has been transferred to our additional domain controller and that additional domain controller is offline okay so we will see here that how the roles are being seized so you will type cd slash then you will type ntds util then you will type roles connections then type connect to server and here you will give the fqdn name of this domain controller okay after this you will press enter and then you will type q enter now we are going to seize the schema master role that has been transferred from this domain controller to the additional domain controller and click yes here are you sure you want server this to seize the schema role with value below you will click yes so now the seizure is proceeding at your schema role has been seized now press q enter so now we will verify that whether this domain controller has seized the schema master role from the additional domain controller or not for that you will execute a command fsmo so you can see that one of the role that is schema master has been seized and it is now existing on the domain controller but not on this additional domain controller so still we are having the four roles that is existing on the additional domain controller so we will seize all those roles one by one so again for seizing the uh, remaining roles you will type ntds util then you will type uh, roles connections then again connect to server and uh, here we are going to seize the naming master role so you will type seize naming master click yes wait for the seizure of that naming master role so the naming master role has been seized we will again verify that whether the role has been seized or not So you can see that now the domain naming master has been transferred to this FQDA name which is a domain controller. In the same way you will see PDC, RID, infrastructure. Okay. 
so this is how the seize of the fsmo role is done if you want to know about more that why seize is done why the transfer is done or when you will transfer the roles or you will seize the roles then you can visit to my website that is www.admitlab.in and there you will see the articles related to mcitp and ccna and those articles are really a lucid as well as they are the brief they are having the brief description actually okay